Hi students. Good morning. I hope you all are fine. Welcome to grade 11 business mathematics class. We are learning our second chapter algebra. Is it right? So in this algebra first section you have learned partial fractions, then permutations, combinations, permutation different categories everything you have learned. Okay. So today also there is some problems are left in combinations. We will complete that one today. Okay. So already we have completed up to example 2.30. We'll start from 2.31 today. So example 2.31. Please students all of you turn your book and take down example 2.31. I'm reading the question from your book. A cricket team of 11 players is to be formed from 16 players including 4 bowlers and 2 wicket keepers. If you are seeing this problem in your book, you will think uh, it, will, uh, it will be very difficult. Okay, But the thing is very easy. If you understand the question, nothing is not there. Okay. So, the cricket team consists of 11 players to be formed from 16 players. So, totally 16 players are there in the cricket team. We need to choose 11 players to play. Okay. So, in that 11 players, how many bowlers, how many wicket keepers must be there? Like that one condition is given. Including 4 bowlers and 2 wicket keepers. Okay. In how many different ways can a team be formed so that... The team contains at least 3 bowlers and at least 1 wicket keeper must be there. So, out of 16 players, we need to choose 11 players. But the condition is given 4 bowlers and 2 wicket keepers. But we need to choose at least 3 bowlers and at least 1 wicket keeper must be there. So, anyhow, if you are adding time, you need to get 11. Okay. So, one by one we will do. Okay. So, first one is, it is given in your question, a cricket team of 11 players you need to form. Okay, so out of 16, you need to choose 11. Okay, so first I am going to choose 3 bowlers. Okay, 3 bowlers, 1 wicket keeper and how many players then more? 3 bowlers I got chosen. It is given in your question. At least 3 bowlers must be there. At least 1 wicket player must be there. So that is the condition we have chose first. So 3 plus 1, 4 over. So remaining 7 is it right. And 7 other players. Okay. So what is the condition? Out of 4 bowlers is it right? 4 bowlers you need to choose 4 C3. Okay. So you do. Then how many wicket keepers you need to choose? 2 is it right? Out of that 1 I have chosen. Then how many other players? 10 is it right? So 10 players must be there. So anyhow, here it is 3. Here it is 1 minutes. So, sorry. So here it is uh, 4. 4 plus 2 minutes 6 is it right? So 6. Remaining how much players must be there in 16? 10 is it right? Out of 10 how much I chose? 10 C7. Okay. So this one we need to simplify. So if we are simplifying... So, it will be very dif uh, difficult if you are writing everything and we are cancelling. Uh, if you need, you can write it like this. That is 4 into 4C3 means 4 into 3 into 2, 3 into 2 into 1. Correct? Then into 2C1 means 2. Two C1 means 2, is it right? So into 10 C7 means 10 into 9 into 8 into 7 into 6 into 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Divided by 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. So 7, 6, 5, 4. 7, 6, 5, 4. This and this will get cancelled. So again this one will get cancelled. So here, here, this one, this one cancelled. So what's the balance? 4 into 2 is 8. 10 into 3 is 30, 30 into 4 is 120. So if you multiply, you will get 960 days. Okay children, listen here. You will have a doubt. Why ma'am, 4C3 four six, four C into 2C1 into 10C1, you are wrote like this and you have simplified. But in your workbook, it is 4C3, uh, they changed as 4C1, 2C1 means 2. Okay, 10C7, they changed as 10C3. The meaning is... Listen here, directly you can write it, okay. So, if you, if you are feeling this is difficult, why I am doing like this means we will get confusion. 
so uh, if you are not at all confusing no problem same book method you can use how means 4c3 is there is it right so 4c3 when i am writing how will you write 4 into 3 into 2 is it right divided by 3 into 2 into 1 so when you are cancelling what's the only balance you will get 4 is it right so that is same as 4c1 correct the thing is 4c3 what are the difference there only one is it right so 4c1 you will get then here see 10c7 so what are the difference 3 is the difference so 10c3 so same answer you will get so same that procedure you can use it no problem okay so second part second part what we will do is so three bowlers i have chose here one wicket keeper we have chose so next what we are going to do is three bowlers and two wicket keepers you can choose so three bowlers two wicket keeper then how many the balance three bowlers and two wicket keeper over means five over so what's the balance in 11 five is so six is the balance and six are the place So, how will you write it in the combination? 4C3, sorry. 4 4C3, then into 2C2, is it right? So, 2 wicket keepers we need to choose. Already they said 2 wicket keepers must be. Into 10C, how much? 10C6. Write down and simplify. So, same as previous problem. If you need, you can do it. So, how will you write this? 4C1 you can write. So, 2C2 the value is same. So, 2C2 into 10C6. How will you write the difference is 4. So, 10C4. So, for easiest calculation, we can write like this. Otherwise, no problem. 4C3, 2C2. You write down all the value and you need to cancel. Understand? In the fourth are cancel. So, now 4C1 means how much will you get? 4. Then 2C2 two means 2 into 1 divided by 2 into 1. Into. Then 10C4 means how much will get? 10 into 9 into 8 into 7 divided by 4. Is it right? So 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. Correct? So 2, 2 get cancelled. So next balance here it is 2. This will get cancelled. Here it is 3. Okay, so now multiply 4 into 10 into 3 into 7. So 4 into 10 is 40, 21. So how much will get 40 into 21 means 0, 4, 0, 8. So 0, 4, 8. 8, 40 days. Got it? Okay, so first what you chose? 3, play, three bowlers and 1 wicket keeper. The next one, how much you took? 3 bowlers and how many wicket keepers? 2 wicket keepers. Next, we are going to 4 bowlers, 1 wicket keeper. Then 4 bowlers, 2 wicket keepers. These are the 4 cases. Okay. So, then afterwards, you can use fundamental principle of counting. Okay. Got it? Third one is 4 bowlers and 1 wicket keeper. Then what are the remaining? 4 plus 1, 5 over. So, 6 remaining. So, how will you write it in the combination? 4, C, 4. Out of 4, 4 also you got to. Then you do 2, C, 1, 2 wicket keepers. How much 1? Then next one, 10, C, 6. Okay. So, 4, C, 4. The value is 1, is it right? 4, C, 4. That is N, C, N. Okay, 4, C, 4. If you need, you can write it. That is 4 into... Mm. 3 into 2 into 1 divided by 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. Already you know its value was uh, 2 into 10 C6 means 10 into 9 into 8 into 7 into 6 into 5. It's then 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. Cancel 6 5. 6 5 will get cancel. Here it will be 2. Here it will be 3. 2 to get cancelled. So here everything will be cancelled. So 2 into 10 into 6 is 60. Sorry. 
2 into 10 into 3. 10 into 3 is it right? So 30. 30 into 7 is 210. So if you multiply, you will get 420. Is. Okay. So next what's so the one more? 4 bowlers, 3 bowlers, 1 wicket keeper over, 3 bowlers, 2 wicket keeper over, 4 bowler, 1 wicket keeper over. Then one is only one balance. What's the only one balance? 4 bowler and 2 wicket keeper. We are going to choose for the last condition. Okay. Four bowler, two wicket keeper, and how much players more than four plus two six over? So what's the balance? And five other players. How will you write four C four into two out of two? Also you have to so two C two here ten C out of 5 ok so how will you write this one 4 c 4 means the value is 1 does it right already i said that is 1 into 2 c 2 means 2 into 2 divided by 2 into 1 that also same then 10 c 5 means 10 into 9 into 8 into 7 into 6 divided by 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 so this value is everything 1 cancelling time 2 this one 2 3 it cancel here it is 4 now multiply here everything it will go is yes. so how much will get 5 into 4 is 20 20 into 9 into 7 so how much will get 20 into 9 into 7 is 63 so we will get as listen here this is not 5 that 5 ok so the thing balance is 9 into 4 into 7. That is 9 into 4 7 are 28. Now multiply 28 into 9. Okay. 18. 25. So 252 ways. So now we have completed all the four conditions. Is it right? So 3 bowlers, 1 wicket keeper, 3 bowlers, 2 wicket keeper, 4 bowlers, 1 wicket keeper, 4 bowlers, 2 wicket keeper. So everything over. So now we will use addition property. So by addition principle of counting total number of these. What's the first answer? 960. Second answer is 840, third one is 420, next one is 250. Add all the values, you will get 2472. This is a required answer. Got it? Okay, very easy. Okay, so but it will take more than 2 or 3 pages. Okay, so you keep it in mind. Out of 16 players, you need to choose 11 players. The condition is given 4 bowlers, 3 bowlers. 2 wicket keeper, 1 wicket keeper. You need to split as 4 keys and do it and find out all the 4 answers and by principle, addition principle of counting, you add all the 4 answers, you will get it. Okay, let's move to the next question. If 4 into NC2 equal to N plus 2 into C3, find N solution listen here very very important three mark question so how will you write for nc2 i said this is right so combination how we need to write permutations everything you have learned so we are going to use that that is given it is 4 into nc2 equal to n plus 2 into c3 we need to find this n value so 4 into we can write this nc2 as 2 is it right. So, n into the previous number is n minus 1. So, 2 means we will start from first is it right. So, 2 into 1. Same as n plus 2, c3 is it right. So, c3 means 3 values you need right. That is n plus 2, previous number is n plus 1. Then again you subtract 1. So, you will get n. Divided by 3 means 1 into 2 into 3. Have you got it? So, n c2 means n is a starting before number. So, 3 means before one more number you need to write. So, from the first uh, in the denominator, it will start from first natural numbers. That's the thing. Okay, so into. So this and 2 will get cancelled. So anything more? No. So here 2 into, you can multiply inside. So n into n means n square minus n. 
okay that is equal to n plus 2 into n plus 1 into n divided by 6 okay now bring this to here so 6 into 2 means 12 into n square minus n that is equal to so Otherwise, one more easiest method is there. You know, need to multiply inside. Same, you can write. Then it will be cancelled. Okay. So, n into 2 into n into n minus 1. So, same, you can write it. This n and n, it will cancel and go. So, it will be very easy to simplify. So, the balance is 2 into n minus 1 is equal to n plus 2 into n plus 1 divided by 6. Cross it. So, 12 into n minus 1 is equal to multiply inside. So, n into n is n square plus n plus 2n plus 2. Multiply inside 12n minus 12. Bring that's equal to n square plus 3n plus 2. Bring everything to one side. n square plus 3n. This one if you bring here minus 12n plus 2. This one if you bring here plus 12 is equal to 0. So, you will get n square minus 9n plus 14 is equal to 0. Got it? So, here what I did? 4C2. So, 4C2 means n in, sorry, nc2 means n into 1 more number. Is it right? n minus 1 divided by 2 into 1. So, same as that C3. So, here if you took common outside, then, I, sorry, if I am multiplying inside, we can't cancel. So, for that it will be somewhat difficult. So, because of that, I kept like that and I n and n will get cancelled. So, afterwards cross multiply and find out as a cross. Quadratic equation. Now you can solve. 14 multiplication product. That is minus n. Summing. So what are the numbers? 7, 2. Both also minus. Correct? So n minus 7 one answer. n minus 2 is equal to 0. So n equal to both the answer also positive 2. Or n equal to 7. Both the answer is also correct. Got it? If it is negative we will choose only one answer. Here both also positive. We can choose both the answer. Understand children? So, very very important. Three more questions they may ask. Okay. So, let's move to the next question. Example 2.33. If n plus 2 is into cn equal to 45, find n. Solution. So, here I am writing the question that is n plus 2. 2 into cn equal to 45. Okay. So, here we are going to use one formula that is already you have learned ncr is equal to ncn minus r. Okay. So, we are going to use ncr is equal to ncn minus r. So, in the place of n, what's here? n plus 2 is there. Okay. So, we are going to substitute like that. That is ncr. Now, it is in the form of ncr. In the place of n, what's there? n plus 2 is there. In the place of r, what's there? n is there. So, we are going to substitute here. So, what will happen? ncr is equal to nc n minus r. So, n value is n plus 2 c n minus r. Is it right? So, n value is n plus 2 minus n. Okay, equal to 45. So, using this formula. Okay, so this n and n will get cancelled. So, what's the balance? n plus 2 into c2 equal to 45. So, c2 means I will write n plus 2 into one more term. Is it right? n plus 1 divided by 2 into 1 is equal to 45. Cross multiply ma n plus 2 into n plus 1 equal to 2 into 45 minus 90. Correct? Multiply inside n square plus n plus 2n plus 2 equal to 90. So, n square plus 3n plus 2 equal to 90. Now, you can bring this to here. n square plus 3n plus 2 minus 90 equal to 0. So, n square plus 3n minus 88 equal to 0. Now, you can find out the factors. That is minus 88 here 3. I think it is 11 and 8. Whether it will be correct? So, it is positive. So, it is very easy. Okay, already you have no. So, what are the factors? n plus 11, n minus 8 equal to 0. So, n equal to minus 11, n equal to 8. I said negative, it will be 
not possible okay negativity will be not possible so what's the only answer n is equal to a this problem also important they will ask okay so listen here one more time i will repeat this is in the form of ncr so we are using the formula ncr is equal to ncn minus r so using that i have wrote here ncn minus r equal to 45 so then n c n plus 2 into c2 how will you write n plus 2 into n plus 1 divided by 2 into 1 then cross multiply you got the quadratic equation now for n you got two values negative it won't be possible so only possible a positive value you need to take so n is equal to 8 so examples everything i think it will be over so now let's move to exercise question exercise 2.4 first problem i gave homework already I don't know how many of you completed. Uh, okay, because of that, I am doing it again. Why months? It's a very, very important question. Two problems I taught you in example. Then this exercise is also very, very important. So, because of that, you will leave that. Because of that, I am teaching tough. Okay. So, if NPR is equal to 1680 and NCR is equal to 70, find N and R. I hope you completed, uh, those who completed, you check it the answer, okay, why means it's very very important, so because of that, okay. solution, so already in one example 2.27, is it right, same as that model, okay, so but in that question only we need to find the value of R, in this problem we need to find the value of N also, that's the only thing, so we know, NCR is equal to NPR by R factor, that's the same formula we we'll use here. So, NCR, what's the value given in the question? 70. NPR 1680 divided by R factorial R factor. This two we can cancel. From here to here, if you cancel, you will get 24. So, R factorial equal to 24. Cross multiply. Okay. 24 factor. So, 24, how will you write in the form of factorial means? 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. Calculate 4, 3 is 12, 12, 2 is 24. So, we can write it as 4 factorial. So, this will get cancelled R equal to 4. Those who not completed, please check it because of that I am doing. It's very, very important question. Okay. So, what you did? So, NCR equal to NPR by R factorial. This is a property we know. Just I substituted the value and I got find out R value. This is same as example 2.27. It's very easy. But here only one thing is we need to find the value of n also. So how will you find the value of n? For that what we are going to do is. We'll just take any one of the value from there. Okay. So given ncr equal to 70. Is it right? So for ncr what's the formula? ncr what's the formula? n factorial divided by r factorial into n minus r. We'll use that formula here. So, how will you write n factorial divided by r factorial into n minus r the whole factorial equal to 70. Here, what's the r value? 4. Now, we can substitute the r value here. So, how much will get n factorial divided by 4 factorial into n minus 4 factorial equal to 70. Got it? So, ncr equal to 70. From that, r equal to 4. Now, I substituted the r value was 4 here. Okay. So, What will happen here? N factorial. Numerator it is N factorial divided by 4 factorial into N minus 4 factorial equal to 70. Listen here children. If you are uh, getting this N minus 4 factorial in the numerator, both the terms will get cancer. So N factorial means what's the meaning? N factorial means what's the meaning? N into N minus 1 into N minus 2 into N minus 3 into N minus 4 into N minus 5 into it will be going on. Is it right? So up to N minus 4 factorial in terms of N minus 4 factorial we can write that is N into N minus 1 into N minus 2 into N minus 3 into N minus 4 factorial divided by 4 factorial how will you write 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 into N minus 4 factorial. So these two terms will get cancelled. Now you cross it. N into N minus 1 into N minus 2 into N minus 3 equal to 70 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. Okay. Now from this you need to find the N minus it right. So if you multiply how much you will get? 
So multiply with n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 into n minus 3 equal to multiply this everything. 4 3 is 12. 12 to 24. 24 into 7. So when you are multiplying you will get 1680. Now in one example I taught you need to change this is in a form of n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 into n minus 3. Okay. Shall we split it? So this one if you are giving for uh, 8 start from 8. Okay. So, 8, what will happen? 2, 1, 0. Next, we can give for 7. Order wise, you will try to give. So, how much will get? 3, 0. Next number is 6. You can give us a price. 5. Okay? 8, 7, 6, 5. So, we can write like that. So, n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 into n minus 3 equal to 8 into 7 into 6 into 5. So, this is same as n minus 3. This is same as n minus 2. This is same as n minus 1. What is the n value? n equal to 8. Understand? Otherwise, some more methods are there. You need to multiply inside and we will get one big equation afterwards. You need to split it, solve it. Okay, it will be very difficult. So, because of that, it is very easy. So, when you are getting one number, you try to start from biggest number and try to solve. So, now you will have it out. Mom, last year's and all we have learned when you are splitting like this, you need to choose only prime number. Now, you are taking all the numbers. Okay, so for this I got chosen. Okay, so here prime number or even number or that's not a problem. But numbers must be in continuation. That is n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 into n minus 3. It will be in the form. Okay, so because of that I have split it. So n equal to it. So this problem is very very important. So because of that I gave the form of that day. Again, today I will repeat it. Okay, so not completed, completed. Got it, children? Okay. So next problem I will do in the next class. So it's the time to do the homework for you. All of you take down your books. Take down your books. Turn to exercise 2.4. So problem number 9 is your homework for you today. That is same as that. Uh, one example we have completed now. Bowlers and the wicket keepers. That same as that problem. So homework is. Exercise 2.4, problem number 9. This is a only homework. So, in that question, in how many ways can a cricket team of 11 players be chosen out of 15 players? Same as that question. Okay. So, there, there is no restriction on the selection. The particular player is always chosen. The particular player is never chosen. Okay. So, according to that, you need to choose. Okay. So, total number of ways of selecting 11 players out of 15, you need to find. That is 15 C11 you will get. If you calculate, first answer you will get. Okay. Then second one is the particular player is always chosen. So if your particular player is always chosen means then 10 players are to be selected out of 14 players. So from that 14 C10. That's the second answer. Then third one is in a particular player is never chosen. Then 11 players are to be selected from the remaining 14 players means 14 C1. That's the last answer. So first one 15 C11. Second one 14 C10. Third one 14 C11. So, first one answer 1060. For checking your answer, I am saying. For first answer, you will get 1365. Second answer, you will get a 1001. Third answer, you will get a 364. Here, you no need to add and all. The reason is they are giving us separately. Okay. So, problem number 9 is a homework for you. Do it, children. Okay. So, in the next class, we will complete this section and we will start the next mathematical induction. That's a very, very important. Two more sections are there in this uh, chapter. That last two sections are very, very important sections. So, um, learn this one everything uh, so we will meet in the next class with uh, studying for next problem uh, be safe children thank you